Hello, this is Card the Dreamer with a quick guide for Tinker's Constructs. How to actually start tinkering. How do you build the Tinker's Forge, the most important thing in the mod? And if you're too lazy to look in the I am here to give you a video guide. So first off, you'll need to create Grout, which if we look in JEI, Grout, it is made from any kind of sand or just any block with the Minecraft sand tag, gravel, and clay. So let's just grab a shovel, go into survival, and just grab a bunch of gravel. Then you're also going to want to do this with sand and clay. So here's some sand. Quickly mine it up. And then look for some clay. I'm going to speed it up until I do find some. Oh, and here is some clay. Okay. So now once we have these, we can craft our grout. And then from this grout, we can use a furnace. And coal. And smelt down our grout. Each of these will give one seared brick, which is not a lot. As seen here, one seared brick. So once you have a good amount of them, just say three stacks for now, you're also going to want to smelt some glass and copper. Well, the glass is optional, I just like using the glass. So we'll need a crafting table, which with crafting tables, you can convert into Tinker's Construct Crafting. No, you can't. Uh, but you can craft crafting tables in Tinker's Construct, which will interact with other Tinker's Construct tools by using a pattern, which is made with sticks and planks, and a log. So, things you want to craft. Well, this is required, but seared fuel tank, of course, and then a seared fuel gauge, which I think is crafted like this. Yep. And then put bricks around it so you get a seared melter. And if you have lava supply nearby, uh, I suggest using your lava supply of doing this next step, which is crafting a heater, which the heater can only be used with the seared smelter, and it uses coal. But if you have a supply of lava, let's just flatten this area out for simplicity. You can just simply fill the seared fuel tank with lava or your fuel source, put a seared melter on top, and then you will want to craft some faucets, seared casting table, and a casting basin. If you want to do this quickly, just craft the seared casting basin and one set of faucets. And now you will want to toss in like three raw copper ore or four copper ingots. And craft with this just a bunch of seared bricks and put it in this side. So now this has four ingots of copper. Pour it on here. Four ingots. Pour it onto a seared brick. And we get the simultary controller. This is the most important part of our entire build. So, to make... I mean, you can pretty much just do this, pretty much, as long as you have a drain and fuel, and this will be a working smelter. Not very big. But... You can also extend this out larger, like this. 
and then get more seared fuel tanks to put on the back. Uh, also, quick word of warning, uh, the smelter only works with seared fuel tanks. You cannot use the, uh, where is it, the seared heater, because it's not as hot as lava. So once you've done this, oops, seared grit and copper, you'll want to craft some drains, which, yep, these are drains. And then also if you want to be able to automate this or just put something in that will overfill this, craft a seared chute. And you put the chute on the side like this, and then anything that moves items into it, like you put a hopper here, then we put like uh, just some iron ore, bam, it automatically moves into the uh, entire setup for melting. So now we re-grab our seared casting bin, the faucets, and the table. I like to put two uh, tables, two bins, hoppers, and chest. And then under these, you can have a hopper pulling the items out, which is simple. So I will show you how to do it. There we go. And then on the other side as well. Here we go. And now you have your basic Tinker Sforge. To create casts, you add you will need a, which one was it? T Tinkers has a lot of tables, my apologies. Uh, you'll need a tinker station and a part builder. Let's just make sure it's day. The Tinker Station allows you to make your tools once you have your parts. And the Part Builder will need patterns. And you can use wood, stone, and I think maybe iron. Plank, cobble. And then might as well test here if we can use copper and iron for this one. Most other materials, okay. Iron, you cannot shape in this, but copper, you can, because copper is softer. And then, of course, you can make wood and cobblestone tools. So now with this, we'll make a pickaxe head, tool handle, and a tool binding. And then we can like make just a full oak wood pickaxe, or we can come over here Put some gold or iron in here. Let's grab some sand. And then if we just pull a crafting table further over here. You can craft these the sand into sand casts or blank sand casts, which you can then use to easily make disposable casts. These can be used one time before they're consumed. If you have gold on hand, rather, so let's just wait for this to smelt down. Let's add a third because we'll need three. Oh, and I forgot to put the faucets. Silly me. You can pour the molten gold onto the different parts. It'll consume the part, but it'll give you a permanent cast to use, which you can then pour metal into, and then you can make more advanced tools. This is a very simple guide on how to get started with Tinker's Construct. This has been Card the Journeyman. Thanks for watching.